Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Health Beauty and Mind by Raj. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you for giving me so much love and I do appreciate your time and efforts to watch my videos and I hope you do enjoy my videos. So today's video is going to be another healthy recipe which is one of my favorites. So it's going to be the upama recipe. I'm sure many of you will already know how to make upama but I'm just going to share how I make my upama and how I enjoy um, making this. So stay with me, let's cook together the upama, the very healthy recipe that you can um, use during your weight loss journey. And let me tell you one thing, I've been, I have been eating upama, the soy recipe that I've already shared on my YouTube channel and I switch every day and try to eat something different, something like that. So stay on my um, channel, keep checking. I'm posting another videos very soon of all the healthy recipes. Thank you, let's get started. Let me show you all the ingredients first. So for upma you need semolina, which is suji, mustard seeds, curry leaves, I used half onion because my onion was pretty big so you can use one small onion. I'm using carrots, green beans, coriander, dried um, red chili, some peanuts, I love the crunch in my dish and the spices. So I'll show you how I make my upma. So I've already got my pan uh, heating up and I'm going to roast my semolina. So I used one bowl, small bowl of semolina and I'm going to roast, just a dry roast until um, the semolina is a little darker, like not too brown, just a little brown. So you don't leave the semolina unattended because it can burn very quickly. So you need to keep stirring and do not cook semolina on the high flame just on medium so low to medium flame and keep stirring until it's nice and light brown i can already smell it so my semolina was ready and i have taken it out in a bowl so now i'm going to use the same pan and i've added some olive oil in it so once the oil is hot you add the mustard seeds. I love mustard seeds and they're gonna start popping. So once they pop, you know they're ready for the other ingredients to go in. Can you hear the popping sound? I like to add my curry leaves just on the side because they do pop a lot and I cook them together. And you mix everything together. You can add green chilies if you like green chilies, or you can add more spices if you like really spicy and um, all the masala you like. I do like to add the red dry chili. So everything is cooked and combined together. Now I'm going to add my vegetables everything together and I'll added my peanuts as well so just kind of mix everything together so now I'm going to add just a little bit of water just to cook my vegetables and I'm going to put the lid on just for two to three minutes. So while my vegetables are cooking, um, I just wanted to say, you don't have to use these vegetables if you, don't, if you don't like these vegetables. You can use whatever you like or you have at home. Um, so I decided to use these two vegetables today. But sometimes if I have to make my upma quickly, I don't use any vegetables. I just use the curry leaves, mustard seeds, and that's it. So let's see if the vegetables are ready. Let's check. Wow, I think they are ready, yes, 
they look soft. So now I'm going to add coriander. I'll leave some just to add after I make the whole thing. I'm cooking while my kids are playing around the kitchen area. And now you add the roasted semolina. Mix everything together. It's already looking really de delicious. Can't wait to eat. Arya is super excited. I don't know why. I think she can smell the food. <laughs> she might be feeling hungry. So now my uh, vegetables are combined in the semolina. And now, so that's the ratio you need to um, use the water for. If you have one cup of, one bowl of semolina, you use two cups of water so that's my one cup and here goes the second one keep mixing and stirring until it's nice and thick you will see when everything comes together, that means it's all done. Can you see it's all like bubbling and boiling? So it will cook the semolina as well as all the vegetables together. And it will be done. It looks so nice. And here is my upma ready. As you can see, it's now becoming thicker. And hard to stir means it's ready. It's looking super delicious and I'll show you when I serve it in my plate. So here is my upma and my chutney. It's super delicious, smells so good. I love coconut. So this was super easy and quick recipe. Um, if you have these ingredients at home and you feel like eating something which is healthy and light so you can make this at home. So you don't have to starve, you don't have to change your diet completely to lose weight. This is what I did. I changed my lifestyle with making by making different dishes which has all the flavors I like and still I lost my weight um, from pregnancy uh, what I gained. So hope you guys liked my video and enjoyed this recipe. I will come up with another healthy recipes again these recipes are those recipes which I have been eating and trying to lose weight and, and they are working so that's why I decided to share that with you all if you are trying to lose weight so if you have any other suggestions or any questions let me know in the comments and please do like um, share and comment on the videos if you do like them uh, it gives me motivation uh, to do more and more and uh, do subscribe my channel if you haven't done so, so that you do not miss out my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.